Hi everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's spiritual insights and guidance and your forecast for the week of Monday the 14th of January through to Sunday the 20th of January 2019. Last week, I hope that you were able to identify what your superpower is. In last week's video, I took you through some steps on how to identify that through some key questioning. So this week, I thought that we could follow that momentum and identify ways in which you can call in your soul tribe or the right person, or the right friend, or the right job, anything that you're wanting to bring into your life. Mainly though, this is really addressing your soul tribe. However, you can transfer this activity into any other area. What is a soul tribe? You know, we come into this life with our families and you know, that may or may not be a beautiful experience for many of us. Our family is the tribe that, yes, is on a soul level. We have all agreed to share in our different roles that we play for each other on our journey of self-discovery and evolution. Our soul tribe, however, are a group of like-minded people who are there to support us, to lift us up, to encourage us in all that we do. Our soul tribe are people who are perhaps on the same journey or even bringing in their own gifts and insights and teachings to assist you in growing or they are drawn to you so that you have the opportunity to be the teacher, so that you can be the support. It is a very beneficial experience for both parties and I know for myself I have used this to call in the right people to work with, the right teachers that I need at the right time, the right students at the right time. I've also used this technique to bring in the right like-minded people in all of the areas that I live in and where I move through and where I go to. And so the way to do this is to grab a pen and paper and write at the top of the page, you know, I love this, so my soul tribe and really get clear because the universe loves it when we are clear about what we want. Too often we ask for something that we want, but our heart isn't actually in alignment with what we're asking. You know, we're asking for one thing, but our emotions are saying another, and the universe can, you know, at times feel a little bit confused about what it is you're actually asking for. So write down my soul tribe. Now, are they male or female? They can be both. Roughly what age, you know, what age group would you like your soul tribe to be in? You know, from say 20s to 30s or 25 to 35, whatever it is, whatever it is that you feel intuitively guided. What is it that your heart is yearning for? And you will know this because you'll be experiencing the, I guess, the contrast in your current life with the circle of people that you're surrounding yourself with. And if it's not uplifting you and if it's not supporting you, then it's time to recalibrate on who it is you want to have in your life. What will they be like? What will their interests be? Um, what will their journey be like? You know, what have they experienced or what are they going through? Um, what is it that they will bring to you? How will they make you feel? It's very important to tap into the emotion of how being around somebody who is your soul tribe, how they will make you feel. Will there be laughter? You know, some of the things that I put down are definitely laughter. Need to, I'm very quirky. I have some crazy weird personality traits, so my children will tell me. And you know, and I want the people that come into my life to really accept all aspects of me. You know, not just the label that I might come with. You know, I want them to accept 
all aspects of myself, my spiritual self, my quirky self, my, you know, myself that can sometimes do my own heading because we can all do that and still have, be able to have meaningful conversations. I think that we're at a time in our lives now where shallow conversation just isn't cutting it for many of you. Um, you know, we're not interested in the price of meat or we're not interested in how, um, you know, what Donald Trump is doing. We're, we're just not interested in the negativity of the world. And so it's about getting clear on, and that doesn't mean I will just say my little disclaimer, that doesn't mean that we can't have a vent. It doesn't mean that we can't have a bad day. Our soul tribe are there for us on our good days and our bad days. And they don't have expectations of us that are unreasonable. And they're certainly not putting the expectation on us to maintain their happiness. It's a mutual happiness. You know, we'll willingly and lovingly uplift our beautiful Soul Tribe members, our friends, our work colleagues, whoever, however they appear to you, and they will do the same for us in return. So it's this beautiful balance of equal giving and taking. And so once you've done that, then have a little bit of faith and trust that the universe will bring that to you. Now, initially, you may need to do this on a daily basis, just so that you can recalibrate within you any resistance or blockages that you may have. Because, you know, our, our beliefs about our worthiness of having somebody amazing come into our life who will treat us that way, if you've not experienced that before, then there could be that underlying belief that it's not possible, that you're not worthy of it, or that you don't deserve it. I'm here to tell you that you do, but only you can change that belief within yourself. So by recalibrating on a daily basis of who your soul tribe looks like, where do they live, what do they do, where do they come from, what are their interests, what is it that they bring to the table for you, and what is it that you will bring to the table for them? As you get clearer on that, you are then cementing that vibration into the universe. You are cementing that, uh, you're anchoring really that vibration into your energy field. And as you are embracing it and as it becomes more comfortable to you and as you feel more positive about it, then that is the energy that's going to resonate out. And so the people that are a match to that energy can't help but be drawn to you. So I hope that that serves you well. So for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, oh, healing, I love this. Look at this beautiful blue turquoise. Such gorgeous colors. Emotions, self-care, forgiveness. So you're really being asked on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday to, again, this is a theme, we had this last week, <clears throat> to really acknowledge your emotions to allow yourself to feel the emotions as they arise in your body. And we've discussed this before, but one of the easiest ways to identify and acknowledge the emotion in your body is to feel, is to bring your internal awareness and do like a bit of a scan. So you just take your awareness from your head all the way to your toes, all the way back up to your head. And just really just ask yourself, what's, what's going on inside of me right now? And then you'll feel your attention will be drawn to an area of your body. And then as you tune into that area of your body, just breathing into that, just going, okay, well, how does that feel to me? You know, is it a ball of energy? Does it feel like it's a lump? Is it cool or warm? Does it feel like it's moving or is it still? And then as you're bringing your awareness into that emotion, just giving that emotion your attention. What do you need from me right now? What is it you would like to say to me? And then just breathing into that space. And then as you do that, you're actually giving your emotions an opportunity to be heard and seen. You're also giving your emotion a voice because you're asking, what do, you, what do you need from me? 
do I need to do for you moving forward? And so this is the fastest way that you can actually release those emotions from your body. Self-forgiveness is very, very important also. We're not perfect. If we were all perfect, we wouldn't need to be here. There are going to be times in our lives when perhaps we behave in ways that weren't appropriate. Perhaps we react to situations without thinking. Or perhaps we're just really that judgmental and we're really judging ourselves and we have an ideal of where we think it is that we should be in our lives and we're very unforgiving and, and critical of ourselves for not being there. So this is really a time for you to just really just say to yourself, okay, I am where I am right now and that's okay. I may not like where I am right now and that's okay. Thank you universe for showing me how I can honor and cherish and forgive myself so that I may be released to move forward in freedom and so it is. Thursday and Friday, balance, love this, petrified wood. Harmony, yin yang and equilibrium. So what I'm really feeling with this for you is I'm really drawn to the word equilibrium. And you know, to me, that makes me feel like I'm can be up and down and up and down, or I'm just, I'm just off. You know, I'm not quite right, I'm just a little bit off. And so what I'm really feeling for that for you is take time out throughout your day to just come back to the present moment. Just bring your attention back to your breath and just allow yourself to find within you a center point. So for me, it's always the heart chakra. You know, I, as soon as I'm feeling like I'm a little off balance, I bring my attention, I bring my hand to my heart chakra and I just feel the pressure of my hand and I just check in with myself and I say encouraging words such as, I'm doing the best that I can right now. Everything is always working out for me. I know that I am always guided to the right place and time, people and situations. I am enough. I am well, I am loved and I am safe. And this is a way to bring more harmony and balance into your life. Because often we can go from here to extreme, you know, reactions. Whereas this will just help keep you on an even keel, so to speak, so that when situations arise, you're not so completely thrown off balance. Saturday and Sunday. Completions and endings, definitely. We are definitely in a three year. Three is also about completions and endings. Resolution, cleansing, rebirth. You're really being asked on Saturday and Sunday to have to identify throughout your week make it make it your daily practice to be mindful of situations people or places that arise that you feel a real internal negative reaction to and then ask yourself what is there to for me to learn from this situation what do i need to know right now and then when you can identify the learning from any situation. Now that could be something along the lines of, I am more in tune with what feels right for me. I have identified the right kind of people that I want to have in my life. I am learning what work suits me. I am learning and have learnt the right kind of relationship that I would like to be in. If we don't experience the negative to that, then we don't have the contrast to be able to know for sure what it is that we want to call into our lives. And so this is a time for you to be releasing the past. And 
sometimes that can also be our own patterns of behavior. You know, perhaps there is a particular way of thinking that is not serving you. You know, perhaps you're looking at what's not working in life and forgetting to look at what is working. And so your old pattern of behavior may just be to constantly give your attention to what's not working or what's lacking or missing. When you shift your focus and your attention to what is working and what you do have, then you are in fact retraining your subconscious. You are rewiring your brain and you are changing all of the energy around you, your body, your mind, your heart, and your thinking changes. And if your thinking changes, remembering that a belief is just a thought that you continue to have over and over again. If you can change your thinking about a situation, then you can change your beliefs. And if you change your beliefs, then the experiences that you have in your life become very different and far more rewarding. So I hope that that serves you well. Thank you as always for tuning in and watching. I love your feedback. For the Australia Day weekend, if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, if you're in Australia, and if you're in the vicinity of Phillip Island, I am going to be participating in a gorgeous afternoon retreat, Island Days, and I would love to see you there if you're looking for something that is soulful, if you're looking to uplift your soul. Um, the beautiful Danielle will be going through yoga in the afternoon and I'll be finishing the evening with a guided meditation. So I would love to see you there. As always, please be kind and gentle with yourself. Namaste, blessed be, and thank you, thank you, thank you for, um, for being here with me and for allowing me to share what I get, what I've experienced and what I've learned with you. So much love. Take care. Bye.